Hey guys, Chicago injury lawyer Scott DeSalvo here, and in today's video I'm going to talk about the topic of what is my shoulder injury worth? In other words, what is my shoulder injury if I hurt my work at or hurt my shoulder at work or in a car accident or a fall down and I have a shoulder injury, what might my shoulder uh, injury be worth? So there's really three things that I want to talk to you about here because I had a guy who called me up who hurt his shoulder in a car accident and he wanted to know what was what and so I'm discovering that a lot of people want to have an idea about what an injury might be worth based on the body part, okay? But here's the problem, there's three things you need to think about. I can't just tell you what your case value is based on a body part. We have to evaluate the value of the case based on a bunch of things. But the three most important are, first, can you be blamed at all for your injury, okay? Let me give you an example. If your shoulder got hurt in a rear-ender car accident, or um, you're walking through you know, a big box store like Lowe's or Home Depot or a place like that, and somebody runs into you with a forklift and you fall down and hurt your shoulder. Um, something like that, or you get hurt at work where negligence isn't, you don't have to prove negligence, you just have to prove that you were working and not, you know, misbehaving or not following rules and stuff like that. If they can't claim that you are at fault at all for your injury, that increases the value of your shoulder injury a lot, right? Because the way the law works in injury cases other than workers' comp, in other words, car crash, fall down, bar fight, dog bite, nursing home, medical mail, any kind of injury case in Illinois other than workers' comp, your the money you get is reduced by your percentage of fault. And I have other videos on the channel where I explain that, and that's not even really specific to shoulder injuries. But the next two things really are, okay? So with your shoulder injury, are there other parts of the body hurt as well? In other words, in the, in the vast majority of shoulder injury cases I have, they involve a fall, where somebody reaches out their arm and break, tries to break their fall with their arm or tries to grab something and it hurts their shoulder but it also hurts their wrist or maybe they break a finger when they go down or maybe they also hurt their knee or another body part. So remember, if your primary injury, and this is very common, if your primary injury is your shoulder, don't neglect reporting and getting treatment for other injuries you also sustained, right? So a wrist sprain might seem minor or not worth mentioning to your doctor if your main injury is your shoulder, but you should always mention all injuries and make sure all of your injuries are being documented in your medical records because it's a common problem I see in these kinds of cases. Somebody's so concerned about their shoulder that all of the other parts of the body that are hurt don't end up finding their way into the medical records and then six months later or two months later or four months later you start addressing the wrist and ba based on what looks in the medical records it looks like you never complained about the wrist before. So then the insurance company takes the position that the wrist is a brand new injury, you know, which is crazy. Um, so always mention all of it and then finally with respect to the shoulder, how serious is the injury? Okay, that's true with every injury case, but it's also true with the shoulder. Now, I've had people with partially torn rotator cuffs who do therapy and the pain goes away and their function comes back. I've had people with partially torn rotator cuffs that on the MRI, it's, it's a less serious tear, but even after all the therapy and strengthening, they, they still have problems raising the arm. They still have lots of problems, right? And so, um, what are they going to go in and do? Are they going to go in and just give you therapy? Because if that's the case and you're better, you still have an injury, it still has value, but a case with only a little bit of treatment that is non-invasive and less serious, like physical therapy, is always going to be worth less money. It's going to motivate a judge, a jury, and an insurance company to offer less money than, for example, if they go in to your shoulder with an arthroscopic procedure that's where they drill little holes and put a camera in there and they have to like 
trim cartilage or something like that, that's a surgery, it has risks. Or do they actually have to open the shoulder up? Or has the doctor determined that you have a neck injury and a shoulder injury, which we see uh, very commonly in upper body injuries like a shoulder injury? So the rule is the more serious the injury, the more medical treatment, the more serious medical treatment, the worse outcome you have, the more money the case is worth. All of those are factors that add value to a shoulder injury, okay? Uh, you know, last thing I'll say about it is, you know, an injury to the shoulder, the shoulder is a delicate joint, and it's got so much, it's such a huge range of motion, and we have such fine control with our fingers and arms that if you have an injury there, you shouldn't ignore it. You should get medical care right away. And that's why shoulder cases can be complicated too. Um, insurance companies make money by collecting premiums, but delaying and denying injury claims. And so that's why I also tell people with a shoulder injury that you should talk to a lawyer right away. If you need to speak with a lawyer or you or a loved one has been in any kind of accident involving an injury, I'd love to answer your questions, and if you need legal help, I'd love to represent you. I offer a free consultation where you can ask any questions you want for free, and if it's a good fit, we can become attorney and client. In other words, I can represent you and make sure your rights are protected and make sure that you get every penny the law says you're entitled to. So you can do that by calling 312-500-4500. Again, 312-500-4500. And if you're not ready to talk to a lawyer, I've got a couple of cool tools on my website. I'll leave the links in the description. One of them is the case cash calculator. It tells you what your case might be worth. The other is the good case calculator. It tells you whether you might have a strong case or a case with some problems. Very easy. Both of those are free tools on my website. The links are in the description. You cut and paste them into a web browser. It's literally a 15 second calculator and it gives you answers, no obligation, no lawyer to talk to. So those are on my website, check them out. Um, I also have, um, you know, an injury report that you can find on my website that's free and downloadable. It tells you the five things that you're supposed to do and the things not to do if you're involved in any kind of injury. It's, uh, it's on my homepage. So if you go to my homepage and scroll down, it's right there free and downloadable because I want injured people to know how all this works so you're doing the right thing even before you call a lawyer okay so last thing I'll say is if you enjoy my videos please like this video and subscribe and um, if you wouldn't mind giving me a five-star review on Google it would really help me I'll leave the link in the description all you do is cut and paste the web address into a web browser on your phone your tablet or your computer takes you right there you click five stars say a kind word hit submit takes you five seconds but it is invaluable to me when it comes to um, you know when it comes to how competitive it is in this uh, in this business that I'm in right five seconds for you but invaluable for me and I would really appreciate it so I hope you and your family are well and I hope that uh, if you need any help or you have any questions, just reach out, okay? Thanks, and have a great day. Take care.